anatomy of a pothole, everybody says, why does this happen? Well, when you look at, at the pavement, uh, in the wintertime, as we know, when things get cold, they contract. Well, when things contract, uh, a pavement contracts, it can crack. So you might get a little crack in the pavement, uh, and, and those are those hairline cracks you might see. But over a course of time, uh, those cracks can get deeper and deeper and deeper. And what happens this time of year in Minnesota is during the daytime when the temperatures are above freezing, above 32 degrees, uh, the water can form in these cracks. Now, it's still February, so the ground's still frozen. Actually, because our pavements are bare all winter long and not covered with snow, the frost can be four, six, eight feet deep in our road. So it takes well into March and April even for our roads to actually thaw out. So underneath the pavement, it's solid ice. So it's all ice down here and this water melts in the day, fills in the crack and has no place to go. It can't keep going out, it can't go sideways so it gets trapped there. At night then, the water, when it gets to 20 degrees at night, that water turns to ice. Well, we all know that when ice freezes, it expands. So when that ice expands, it actually is going to lift, lift my pavement up in the air. And that's why sometimes after it's been warm for a few days and gets cold, you might drive down a road and it's a bump, 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 bump. What the, what the car is hitting is all these ice ridges uh, that are formed from these ice. So that, that kind of props up the pavement. Well, as long as it's ice here, that pavement is still supported. But what happens then is the very next day, that ice melts, the ice melts, and it's water again. So now we have water in this crack, and we have nothing supporting the pavement. So then when that, that uh, 10 ton axle load on that semi truck comes barreling down the road, it smashes this tented pavement and crashes it in. So now this crack is an is a actual deflection in the road and this just goes on over, over and over and over, freeze thaw, freeze thaw, freeze thaw, and eventually it turns into a big pothole. And uh, that's the anatomy of a pothole and that's why in Minnesota our pavements uh, suffer uh, from, from these outbreaks of, of potholes uh, in the summertime. In the wintertime you don't see them because when the pavement's frozen all the time we don't have that action going on. But this time of year everybody loves the warmer temperatures we, we would love it to just gradually warm up, but the warm, cold, warm, cold absolutely destroys our pavements, and this is the mode we're in. April, when we're out of the freeze-thaw cycle, then we can, uh, our pavements kind of can heal themselves. Uh, we're out there patching. We'll do our overlays this summer. Uh, you see a lot of what we do for preventive maintenance uh, on those small cracks in the summertime before the cracks become big we'll actually seal the cracks and fill it with a rubberized material that sticks to the pavement kind of glue it in there so water can't get in there so there's a lot of things we'll do uh, but with 420 miles of, of road and over 1200 lane miles it's hard to, to do everything we want to do uh, all the time uh, but uh, we do our best and uh, we just hope people are, are patient with us and be safe when you see the patching crews out there. Uh, it, it, we're, they're working in live traffic. Um, it's hard work and uh, we want everybody, the motorists, to be safe and our workers to be safe.